YouTube, it's me, Lena, and I'm here today with my bi-weekly makeup basket. So, I guess let's just jump right in. Um, first off, let's see, I have my foundation. It is still the Rimmel Stay Matte in, what is this color called? Ivory. That I'm trying to finish up for my project pan. And because I finished up my Stay Matte Primer a couple of weeks ago, I'm trying to rotate through my primers a little bit before I jump into my next project pan, I currently have my Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. Play with that a little bit. His last time I had my Maybelline Primer. So I figure I'll use something different. Had the same old concealer. It is the Revlon Foundation, the Revlon Flo the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in 003 Light Medium is all I have left of it. And for my eyes, or for my under eyes, I have the ELF HD Lifting Concealer in Fair that I popped the stopper out of. And I think I may have done it a little too soon because I had a lot more product in there than I initially thought. But it is what it is, and it's still totally usable, so I'm not too worried about it. And I no longer have an eye brightener because it's all gone. I finished it today. So no eye brightener. Another thing that I finished today was my Temp 2 S slash B highlighter. I can't actually get any more out of it. That I replaced though because I still had something else that I could use. This is actually going to be in my next project pan, but I figured I'd go ahead and get started on it. It is the Buxom Divine Goddess Luminizer. What is the color? It's written in silver. I can't read it. I don't know. Maybe it's Divine Goddess. I don't know. This is it. Let me give you a little swatch of it. Ooh, that's a kind of a big swatch. But we, we shall do what we can. This is definitely just nice and glowy. I tend to mix these in with my primers or my foundations if the particular primer I'm using doesn't quite work for it. Speaking of moisturizers, I meant to say moisturizer instead of foundation. Uh, I will show you my moisturizer I'm using right now. It is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture with Sunscreen, SPF 35. Please guys, remember your sunscreen, especially during the summer, but year round, you should. Anyway, it's got my powder. It is the Revlon Nearly Naked. You see that big old fat pan right there and how all the writing has rubbed off. Also have my setting spray. It is the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous. This stuff is amazing. I did a quickie review on Instagram and other, it smells horrible, so hold your breath when you sp spray it on you. But it will lock your makeup in place. This stuff is so amazing. It's only like $6 at Walmart. If you got a Walmart near you, go get it. Because Heart Candy is also cruelty free, which is always, you know, yay. Let's see, let's do eyebrows next. I'm currently using the Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Pencil that I got in my Ipsy bag. It is a pretty close color match for me, so it's totally usable. There's a swatch right there. And with that, I am using my Maybelline Brow Drama in Soft Brown. Just trying to get that used up, because it's fine. I like it for what it is. Eye base, I used up my NARS uh, primer, eye primer. So now I'm currently using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden, my full sides of it that my sister gave me. I had an incident on camera with this where I squirted it out and nothing but oil came out, but I haven't had that happen since. So I guess it was just sitting for too long, which happens sometimes. Um, what do I want to do next? Let's do eyes next. Um, I just did my pri eye primer, so that makes sense. I have two bases in here. I have my Georgiana 12 hour made to last pencil and eternal white. And I have my uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bold Gold, and that is a swatch of it right there. I'm actually wearing the Bold Gold right now with the light bronze from the Lorac Pro Palette. Speaking of, I do have my Lorac Pro Palette right here in all its, you know, dirty, grody glory. And as for other shadows to mix in, I'm really clear. I'm really craving some color this week. So I have my Too Faced Sugar Pop palette that my husband got me as an Easter gift. And I also have 
My three NYX, what are these called? Prismatic Shadows. I have this one in Jaded. Which, that one's not super colorful, but, you know, I just grabbed all of them. I have th this one in Mermaid. Is that the color? Yeah, Mermaid. And I have this one in Punk Heart. I, just, I need some color right now, guys. I really need some color. And the Lorac Pro is a great neutral palette, but as far as color is concerned, it's lacking. And also, this has become like a daily part of my routine, so I do love the stinking thing that my husband got me for Mother's Day. That is from the Christopher Kane collection from NARS. It is the Eyeshadow Singer in Outer Limits. It's super, it's like this peach color with purple shimmer in it. That is it right there. I don't usually use it. Like when I use it every day, I just kind of dab my finger in it and I press it on top of whatever I'm wearing just for some extra shimmer. And for that alone, it's beautiful and I love it. And I have nothing in my collection like this. So thank, thank you, Brian, again, for getting me that. Cause otherwise I wasn't gonna have it because I'm supposed to be on a no buy right now, which I did break because Strawberry Sweet is doing a blog sale right now and I purchased a couple of things from it. So they were a very good deal. So I couldn't really pass them up but I probably should have. What can you do? Start, start over again next month, I guess. Anyways, I'm trying to think, what should I show you next? Uh, I guess I'll show you my blushes and bronzers. Uh, for a bronzer, I, this week I had my Tarte the Sculptor for contouring. Oops. Crap, that's exactly the problem I have with this and why I want to use it up is that it breaks. So I have to be super careful with it. With that is a swatch of it right there. And it does blend out to a powdery finish and it does look really nice when blended out. This is actually gonna be in my next project hand because of the fact that it breaks so easily. And a member of my 12 Empties by Christmas, this is the Elf Bronzer and Surf's Up from the Little Mermaid collection that I used to warm up my face. And right now that it's summer, I could talk, it's basically summer where I live. It's, this is wonderful, I love it. My blushes, I realized that I've been forgetting to put cream blushes in here. So, this is actually a liquid, but same idea. I have the Elizabeth Mott Tint and Sass Fabulous Lip and Cheek Stain. It's, you know, basically the same thing as the Benefit Benetint. This comes with a doe foot applicator, which I prefer to the little brush that they use. That is a blended out swatch of it right there. And for my powder blush, I'm still using my e.l.f. blush that I have hit pan on again after repressing. I don't, I'm going to try to use as much as I can and not repress it again this time because I would probably just wind up accidentally losing some of it if I try to repress it again. Let's see. Oh, my highlighter. I have the Be A Bombshell, the one stick still, also part of my 12 Empties of Christmas. I have four eyeliners that I keep in rotation. I have the two that are in projects. Here is my Lord and Berry and my Project Pan. My teeny tiny Sumita eyeliner from my Finish 8 by Summer, which will definitely be done by then. I have my brown eyeliner that I use. This is the Eye Definer Flat Automatic Eyeliner Pencil in black, it says black raisin, warm black. I have the wrong one. This is the wrong one. Crap. Here it is. Here is the one in black raisin, which is actually just a brown. Have to edit that. That is a swatch of it down there. This is black raisin, but it's brown. And I have my paparazzi purple from NYX. That is it right there. Love this eyeliner. I have two mascaras right now. I have my YSL Fossil mascara, which is starting to get kind of clumpy and dry, but I'm still working with it because this is, even though I got it for free from Influencer, this is still a $32 mascara. So 
I'm gonna work with it until it's dead. The other one I have is from Well People Expressionist Mascara that I got from my Birch Box. This is the brush to it right here. And I have to say, I actually really like this. Uh, it's a very natural look. I tend to actually use this more often than not to kind of declump the YSL mascara. But on its own, it's still a really beautiful lengthening mascara. So if that's what you're going for, it's great for that. Now as for lips, I am currently doing the ELF's Lip Shake Up Week. So I'm actually grabbing stuff out of my actual lip collection. But I'm just gonna show you what's living in here right now. Like, I have my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Lip Pencil in Ozone. That is part of my 12 Empties of Christmas. It's going really quick. Like, this thing is super soft. I used this in like three uses and have to sharpen it again. So, while well, this is a really good lip primer, I don't think it's worth the money of like 16 to $20 for it to go as quick as it does. <laughs> Still a good product. I have one lip gloss. It is my e.l.f. Hyper Shine Lip Gloss. Also a part of the 12 Empties of Christmas along with two of these three lipsticks. One is the MAC Lipstick in Plumful. Here, I'll give you a swatch. These kind of live in here. I'm not necessarily using, I'm not actually not really using the MAC one right now because it's a little bit on the dark side for what the look I want right now. As is this, but I did lose my other one for a little while, so it wound up working fine. It is Revlon Lip Butter and Sugar Plum. They're really close to the same color, actually. I have a backup of this, which is why I threw it in my 12 MVs of Christmas. And finally, part of my finish 8 by Summer, it is the Miraness Glossy Kiss and Cheeky Kiss. This is it right here. Wow, they're all the same color. It's impressive, really. No wonder I was so excited about this elf thing. Uh, if you want to know what I'm wearing right now, actually, I am wearing the NARS lipstick, the NARS Hardwired Lipstick in Deadly Catch. I got this over Christmas. I don't think this is available anymore, but I'm really dead. I'm glad I did, because this is gorgeous and I love it. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.